In this video, we are going to discuss a previous gate problem related to phase margin. We can observe this problem. This is given in gate 98. The phase margin of the system for which loop gain g, of g into h of j omega is equal to 1 by j omega plus 1 whole cube s. Yes. So, they are asking what is the phase margin if the loop gain is like that. So, they given options minus pi, pi 0 and pi by 2 whatever it may be the loop gain or open loop transfer function given is 1 by j omega plus 1 whole cube that loop gain is nothing but the um, transfer function part. So, that means the characteristic equation part. So, now here I want to consider that equation g into h of j omega already g of s into h of s they given in terms of j omega so 1 by j omega plus 1 whole cube so now if you want magnitude of this first of all what we need to find out that we will write here we need to find out the phase margin according to the definition of phase margin phase margin is the addition of 180 degrees plus phase value at grain, gain crossover frequency. So, phase of the Nyquist plot at gain crossover frequency. So, that means 180 plus 5 GC. Phase margin is equal to 180 plus phase at gain margin, gain crossover frequency not gain margin. So, now here to find out this first of all we need to find the phase at gain crossover frequency. So, for that I am going to consider the magnitude and phase first for the given transfer function. The magnitude can be obtained by taking g h of j omega modulus. So, this is equivalent to 1 by omega square plus 1 whole power 3 by 2 because for internal term that will be applied for modulus. So, root of omega square plus 1 whole cube is equal to omega square plus 1 whole power 3 by 2. I am not taking root. Root is made as divided by 2, 3 by 2 whole power 1 by 2. So, now here this is magnitude and coming to phase angle or phi coming to phase angle this is equal to minus 3 tan inverse d by a that means omega by 1 tan inverse omega phi is equal to minus 3 tan inverse omega. In this we need to substitute the frequency at gain, gain crossover frequency. We need to substitute a frequency to get this phi that frequency should be gain crossover frequency. Before that we need to calculate what is the gain cro crossover frequency. Gain crossover frequency omega gc is equal to gain crossover frequency is the frequency at which magnitude of Nyquist plot is unity. So, how we can find out omega gc means this is the frequency at which the magnitude of Nyquist plot is unity. So, if you want to write this omega as omega gc gain crossover frequency then this should be unity. Gain crossover frequency is the frequency at which magnitude of the transfer function is unity. Now you can see. So, to calculate gain crossover frequency I substituted 1 in magnitude. So, cross multiply omega gc square plus 1 whole power 3 by 2 is equal to 1. So, whole power 3 by 2 coming to this side you will get same 1. If you send this 1 to this side 1 minus 1 you will get 0. So, omega gc whole square is equal to 0 means omega gc is equal to 0. Gain crossover frequency is 0 now you know gain crossover frequency now. The phase at gain crossover frequency you need to find out. So, phi gc is equal to minus 3 tan inverse. The frequency you need to consider here is gain crossover frequency only tan inverse 0. Tan inverse 0 means 
so that is 0 so 5 gc is equal into 0 minus 3 into 0 0 now you substitute in phase margin 180 plus 0 is equal into 180 degrees 180 degrees means pi so like this way we need to solve the problems related to phase margin gain margin gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency definitions are very important so here in the given options b option is the right option for this problem for any problem related to phase margins gain margins crossover frequencies first consider the transfer function and take magnitude and phase of that transfer function then you will get an idea you just remember after taking magnitude and phase you just remember the definitions according to that you can link your solution so for this problem the option is 180 degrees that means pi so like this way we need to solve problems related to phase margin.